Hey guys, this is Mario Star Plus Luigi, and welcome to my new LP. We don't want to see how to play. Oh yes, we do. So um, pretty much um, this is my new LP. Um, quickly here are the controls. Um, yeah, you guys can see some of the controls here. But um, yeah, this is my new uh, LP, which is actually uh, my second replay. Um, I decided to replay this game for a number of reasons. First of all, the old project was done in terrible video quality. Uh, and second of all, I just didn't like the outcome of it, and I really wanted to do it again and give this game the justice it deserves. So, um, in this first video, we'll just be doing the basics, learning how to play, all that stuff. So, um... I'm actually going to keep this screen on so you guys can see how to play the game because I'm not really going to be explaining it while I play. So um, pretty much this game uh, is the first um, of three Super Smash Bros. games. Um, this game is for the Nintendo 64 or you can buy it on the Virtual Console. That is what I am playing it on. Um, Um, I just okay. We've learned how to play then. Um, yeah. So there are twelve characters, twelve um, Nintendo favorites, and as you can see, there are four options right at the bat: one player mode, uh, which is one player obviously, versus mode, which is up to four players, options and data. Um, pretty much in options, you can change, you know, screen, um, actually erase your data, and uh, mess with the sound, and in data, you can see. Uh, all different characters, which I'll show off now. Um, Mario, Luigi, you know. Mario, Luigi, DK, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Captain Falcon, Ness, and uh, yeah, those are all the characters in this game. And you can see some verse records if you'd like. Um, no need for that. Um, actually, another reason why I decided to LP this game too is because when I LP'd it originally, not all the characters were unlocked. So, um, yeah, that's kind of fortunate. So we're just going to go to one player and go to training mode. Training and um, we'll stick with Mario. And we'll have um, my least favorite out of all 12 of these characters. Jigglypuff. Yes, Jigglypuff. So, um, oh, I really couldn't care less. Let's just go to Peach's Castle. So um, pretty much in training mode, you can, you know, Face a computer player, have them walk, evade, jump, stand. Um, items, you can see different items, which I'll be showing off now. So, uh, first of all, we have the Maximum Tomato. I believe the Maximum Tomato covers he uh, half of your um, HP. I'm just going to make sure. So, I have, I guess, half of one isn't anything. So, if I have two taken away, it either takes away half or I'll just see. Um, I think it's 50. The heart, I believe, um, restores all of your HP. Sorry if you get some of these wrong. I'm not 100% sure of everything. The star will make you invincible for a short period of time. The beam sword, you can use attack with it. Um, by the way, to pick up items, you press the A button. Um, and if you hold A, you click A, you can attack them. If you hold A and to the left or right on the um, control pad, you can do a wind up. To throw away an item, you click the Z button. Next, we have the home run bat. Oh, I didn't want you, I wanted you. Now, the home run bat is really good. Um, just hitting them normally is alright. And if you wind up, you actually hit them, it's an automatic. Um, KO. Next is the fan. The fan is my least favorite item, I'd have to say. You can wind up with the fan as well. It's not really that good. Next, you have the star rod. Um, one of my favorites. I love the star rod. The star rod, um, um, I, I think it's from Kirby, is what they're trying to get at. It is also in, um, Paper Mario, which I just finished yesterday. So, um, wind up with it, and you can shoot at stars. I believe that's for is from Kirby, though. Uh, because this game came up before Paper Mario. 
Actually, have the ray gun. You can um, pretty much shoot with it, but you only have a limited amount of bullets. The fire flower. That is from Mario. The fire flower, pretty much you hold A and fire comes out for a short period of time. Um, The hammer from the original Mario. The hammer, I believe, does takes away 30, um, does 30 damage to each enemy. Yep. And I just have to wait for it to... Yeah, there we go. Next, we have the motion sensor bomb. I believe this is from Samus. Yeah, don't quote me on all of this because I've never played a Samus game or Captain Falcon game, or so some of these I might get wrong. Pretty much with the sensor, you walk over it. The ball person that. Yeah, you walk over it and you explode. Next, we have the bomb bomb from Mario, obviously. Just throw it and it will explode. Next, we have the bumper. There is a bumper up there, actually. Pretty much throw the bumper, and if you hit it, you will take damage. So we have the green shell. Pretty self explanatory green shell. Pretty much just throw it at an enemy. And yeah. Now the red shell, that's a different story. The red shell can be more dangerous to yourself as well. Because um, the red shell, pretty much when it hits an enemy, it comes flying back. So that can be really annoying. It homes in on you. And finally, we have the Pokeball. The Pokeball has to be the most unique, because you'll throw it and a random Pokemon will come out. I like that one, because it shoots things. And if you throw the Pokeball, you cannot get hurt by its effects. And um, that's pretty much all of the items in the whole game. I just wanted to show those off. And then also, you can change it to speed. Um, make it like half speed, three quarter speed, one fourth, and yeah. And then you can change the camera angle. And reset and exit. So pretty much that has been the intro video for the project. I will see you guys tomorrow when um, we start versus mode. And we, um, I'll explain all the rules and time and stock and all that stuff. So this has been Mario Star Plus Ouija. Peace.